might be the one you really want And I feel it too Okay, let's catch up I feel like it's been a while because obviously I did the Cancer Research UK vlog And then I've actually done a vlog where I went to Pista Village So I haven't vlogged and talked to you guys for what seems like forever But I think it's only been like four or five days <laughs> So I feel like we need a bit of a catch up You'll probably be able to see our behind me like <sighs> things got busy <laughs> like uh i i don't i'm such a disorganized mess but i somehow get done I don't, oh, i'm not allowed to swear on my youtube channel youtube keeps telling me off so i am currently trying to like fashion week prep trying to get loads of um collaborations done um got really sick collaborations coming in like brands that I've always dreamed of working with it's like so cool I don't know if you guys have seen the Dior one I will um leave the link to all the Dior stuff there but it's like my dream collaboration I love Dior Dior makeup especially the dream um so fashion week fashion month is September it is also spider month which means it's my favorite and worst month at the same time I'm on the flight path from Heathrow and I swear about 100 airplanes go over my flat every day and it's so loud. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to weekly vlog. So this is the week before fashion week, I think, pretty much. So you get to come to like all the fittings with me and like, um, yeah, all the tickets come through and stuff. So that should be fun. I, I like it. I'll be organizing the schedule so we get to see what we could do. My sister's coming with me this year. Yeah, she's going to be my photographer. <laughs> <laughs> which is fun because it kills two birds with one stone I get my lovely sister and she gets to be my photographer <laughs> I am gonna tackle this <laughs> uh, I'm feeling this for the London Fashion Week though if you saw my House of CB haul I don't know if it's gone live yet I'm definitely thinking this this kind of vibe I love London Fashion Week I know a lot of bloggers love it or hate it but like I feel so in my natural habitat at London Fashion Week. <laughs> I, it's where eccentric clothing is so acceptable and I love that. It's like ott -ness. I love it. Anyway, by the way, it's only like five o'clock I'm in my pajamas, but look how beautiful this lace um, dressing gown is. That's so soft as well. Anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. It is Thursday and um, you, this is my natural hair if you're wondering. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? <laughs> I call it frisé. Um, I had two hours sleep last night. I just couldn't sleep whatsoever. So I'm going to be doing the whole of today on two hours sleep. This should be very interesting because it's very busy. And I'm finishing the day with like a really intense workout. I feel like I might pass out somewhere along the way. I feel so tired. Just have so much work on. And then I work until really late at night. And then... I can't sleep so I need to learn to switch off you can see my lovely laundry in the background domestic goddess that I am I'm just off for a meeting and then loads of stuff on today so I'm just gonna see how much I can film <laughs> so I got through the other day the new benefit brow contour pro I don't know if you've seen this guys but it's like um focus it's like one of those pens you used to get at school you know that like kind of cool ignore the hair I'm not entirely sure what is going on there and probably after two hours sleep isn't the best time to show you makeup but I thought we could try it so <laughs> I have my gimme brow which I put in the washing machine by accident and it's waterproof guys if you ever want so this hasn't got much product on so I'm just gonna brush them out into like the right place you know because my brows like to go skewer okay let's give this a go this comes with it, which is super handy because I hadn't had one of these and I kept using old ones. I feel like it allows you to get a really precise, natural looking brow, which is always lovely. And then I'm going to go in with the highlighter, which is the lighter shade underneath. And then smudge it out with the end of this one. I like it. It is good. There's a noisy motorbike outside my window. Is there any need? Is there any need? But yeah, well done Benefit. What is this little sprout going on here? <laughs> okay, this is the finished look. <sighs> T 
cat asleep is not good. <laughs> I just have this gorgeous scarf on. It's from H&M. It's really weird the temperature today. Oh, my nails keep breaking. Um, I always look outside the window to see what to wear. And people seem to be in like just a jumper. So I'm thinking this is going to be okay. But I'm, I feel really cold. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. I think I want to go shopping whilst I'm on um, my meetings. Um next to Selfridges so I'll probably end up in Selfridges. I feel like I want some new gym wear because I always do ever find like I always just wear the same gym kit even though I have a load because I just want to wear my favorite so I want to find a new favorite so I have two favorites so I can wear both of them does that make sense <laughs> so this is my outfit if you can see me I feel like this scarf it's not a woolly one so it's like that in between -y thing and got my belt on watch gold Bracelet jewellery, and then we just got some shades on, and yeah, let's go. Just in a cafe called Thea Cafe, it's by Selfridges, look at this. Almonds, edible flowers, blueberries, and this is like pink whipped cream. Look. Oh, and peanut butter as well. Is it? Look how insane this food is, guys. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> this is Molly. <laughs> okay, meeting number one done. Um, I am now off to go find some new sports stuff because what I like to do when I come to Oxford Street shop. <laughs> I swear bloggers are making London a pretty place. It's like every cafe has flowers in it. Look at these. It's snazzy. Like a moth to a flame, I have somehow stumbled upon a brand new store. Reserved. Time's Vogue apparently. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but I thought I'd check it out. Good afternoon guys, I am back, I have had a nap and I am not raring to go still. <laughs> Can't believe I only had two hours sleep last night, that is not good for anybody. And now I'm about to do one hell of a workout. So you guys may or may not have seen I work out, I think I insta stories it, so not. I haven't vlogged it I don't think. Um, I work out at a place in London called BXR and mainly with a trainer called Waz. Um, he is a sick trainer. And it's probably the reason why I have semi abs going on right now. But he's just started his own like workout. I don't know what to call it. It's like a workout session on top of a helipad in London. And I'm pretty sure the sun is going to set whilst we're up there. So it's going to be... I love that I'm just bothered about the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a boxing, it's everything workout. I I I'll show you. I'll try and film some bits, but it's going to be sick. Jamie, take it off. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. go. Guys, look at the um, yeah, I do that. Guys, look at the sunset. This is sick. Guys, look. Do you want to be in it? Guys, look at this space. It is insane. So this is like all of London. If you guys haven't heard of Notorious London, you should just falling off a deck chair. You should definitely come along. It's so good. Look at it. Definitely just watch the sunset. This is Meg. Hey. <laughs> good morning, guys. So the last clip you would have seen would have been me on a helipad. That workout session is so good. If you guys live in London and are looking for like a really cool class to go to, I mean, like it's on top of a helipad. The sun go, the sun, it sunsets whilst you do it. It was so much fun. And like um, the guys that run it, I train with one of them all the time. He's called Waz, and he's probably the reason why. I have newly gained muscles. <laughs> I feel like the whole world is driving through Chelsea today. There's like cars, there's helicopters, there's birds. It's very noisy. <laughs> it's 
it's a workout session called Notorious London and it is so good. I'm, I can't even tell you, like you work out as the sun goes down on a helipad looking over the whole of London. Like you can see the London Eye, like is it St. Paul's Cathedral? I'm not entirely sure, but it's so good. And like you can, it's just 20 quid to go. So you guys can go, I'll leave the link in the description box. Like um, someone from JLS was there, there was like, uh, I think two people from Love Island, Kaz and Josh, I stopped watching it halfway through so I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, like sick people go and then you can just go too and it's 20 quid and it's like the best workout. Definitely go check it out, give it a follow on Instagram and yeah, let's do today. Guys, I'm just with Georgia. <laughs> we have a wardrobe in the back of the car. We've got Starbucks, we've got muffins, hot chocolate and cups of tea in like 25 degree heat. Oh, I'm not good at this. Oh, a three-point turn. <laughs> oh, that's not a good car to bash into. That looks like a posh one. I always whack into cars. This is Where's why I don't drive, car? guys. Ooh. Oh, God, I don't like this. Ooh. Why don't you go in that way and then curb around this way? <laughs> or just reverse back out. Oh, it's all going off here. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch up in a minute. <laughs> God, I've got more sweat underneath my outfits after that. <laughs> <laughs> that was stressful. So guys, we are shooting today. It's Sunday and we are shooting autumn and it is <laughs> boiling. Because obviously it's autumn now, isn't it? It's yeah. September. It's so, so hot. Apparently we're having another heat wave, which I am not complaining about, but I really do want it to be autumn. Hi, Georgia. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we're also going to go to um, Chelsea Athens and try and find Georgia a hot man. <laughs> <laughs> or if you've got any any hot single men that happen to be watching this date my mate yeah left okay i'll speak to you in a minute guys we are done filming change of outfits about 10 outfits later <laughs> but now the best bit we're gonna go to bluebird on, on the king's road it's just like my fave especially on a sunday sit outside get some avocado and dip my fave and i want white wine yeah, that's how we always finish off our shoots. <laughs> She's changed again. <laughs> What's that quote by Alice in Wonderland? I knew who I was this morning, but I've changed several times since then. We're just laughing, guys. Look at this. One LV, two LV, three LV, four LV. I think we've got a Louis Vuitton addiction. Yeah. I feel like Louis Vuitton is a classic, though, so you can't really go wrong. Yeah, And can you can you sell Louis Vuitton at a higher price? She said it first. Georgia's going in on the chips and the waist. <laughs> so good. If you're ever in Chelsea, you need to come here. I've got my old favourite avocado dip. In a good place, guys. Happy Sunday. I'm just off out for an event with Very. It's like a styling studio, which should be fun at Heron Tower. So that's what we're about to do. But I just wanted to stop and say, because I figured out that when this goes live, the announcement will already, will already have been and gone, that I am going to be on a TV show. And it's like my second American TV show that I've done in a year, which is crazy. Like, I don't even know how, how this has happened. Like, it's very unexpected. But... I love doing TV, it's a very different aspect of vlogging, but I really enjoy it. So um, let me tell you a little bit about the show. It's called The Fashion Hero, and it's it's an American show, and I think um, Brooke Hogan presented the first one, I'm not sure who's presenting this one, but it is a modeling contest, but not for like the normal kind of model, it's for like ordinary people, like all shapes and sizes, all different looks. It's trying to like break down the barriers of the fashion industry which is why I wanted to be involved and I just love that thing because I think that you can be whatever shape or size or like whatever you look like you can be fabulous like all the magazines just used to print all the same kind of people and like you don't have to look like that to be amazing do you know what I mean you can you own yourself don't be a carbon copy of someone else and that's what this show is all about and I just jumped to the chance to be involved because I love what it stand stood for so I am going to be a mentor on the show so if you guys 
so you guys can enter and then I'm gonna be one of the mentors for one of the contestants who makes it to the to the end and the best bit it's filmed in Mexico so if you want to come chill on a beach with me in Mexico I'll leave all the information on how to enter down below but it sounds so sick so I'm very excited to be a part of it and there's also a video on my Instagram which explains it a lot better than this but yeah so good I think it's filmed well it was meant to film in November but now it's January so in a couple of months time let's let's go party in Mexico anyway I'm really late I always say this I'm always late it's just standard by now <laughs> so yeah let's go um, oh yeah this is my outfit by the way I just have this I'm trying to get in the last of my summer clothes but I have like epic boots on with it I'll just, just try and like I'm thinking I'm gonna put a mirror in the hallway so I can show you guys without like it's the hallway is just plain white so I'm thinking this might be a good idea because every time I go out there's like an ironing board like a couple of shoes that I tried on and it just really annoys me when I show you my outfit and there's just pure mess behind me exhibit a anyway let's go let's go try some very clothes on we are at Heron Tower this is Taz Lenny is that her? <laughs> hey to the YouTube <laughs> oh gosh my ears are popping this is the skyline of London <laughs> tomorrow but because this is future me or past me you guys will have already seen that so I'm gonna go home and edit that and stuff so yeah long day this is my outfit Okay, I'm back home now and I thought I'd show you what I picked up at Vary it was funny so we got to choose our outfits before we go to like pick them up while we were there and then <laughs> this always happens to me I was like when I saw it, I was like, but I want that one. <laughs> so luckily they gave me two because I really liked the other dress. It's me tea. It's not from Barry. Freddo. Um, I'm having baked beans for tea because I can't be bothered. Uh, let's have a look. So <laughs> this is the one I wanted when I saw it. I was like, damn it, I should have picked that one. And I was like, is it my size? And it was. So it's this lace, beautiful, like embroidered top love 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 it i thought with the belt round my i've my two belt trick which i'm i've now not just done one belt we're going for two belts if you watched my haul the the day or it might not be up yet but yeah that was really pretty and then this was the one i actually chose which is like a similar kind of vibe but it has this massive waistband and i thought i could put one of my dos kind of belts in there and then it had it was quite long and i thought maybe we can hitch this up a bit. I feel like this is way too long. It's like a really weird length. So we're gonna hitch and see what we can do about that. And then I got a belt, cause you know, I love a belt. And then we've got some earrings. Oh, oh, we've got a earring. There's only one. Well, that would have been cool. <laughs> only one. And I have what I think 
might be some of my London Fashion Week tickets. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what we got? Come through. Ashley Isham, love, Pam Hogg, my fave. I've got so much editing to do, it's crazy. I'm gonna edit the video that's gonna go live tomorrow that I told you about before. Make my tea and try and sleep. I have really bad insomnia at the moment. I cannot sleep whatsoever. I feel like my mind is just on overdrive, which it really shouldn't be. I should just chill out. <laughs> I wanted to maybe talk to you guys about um, hate comments or like nasty comments. Cause I literally was just on the tube then and these two women were obviously talking about me in a not very nice way and I literally just like stirred them out made them feel really uncomfortable I was like until they stopped talking but you know when someone's laughing and pointing and I was just like is there any need like what are you talking about and I feel like when I put my cancer research video live it attracted a lot of negative comments like I don't usually get them on my YouTube channel and this video in particular just attracted a lot of negative comments and I really couldn't work out why like I never get I could quite easily put a video up go to bed and then read the comments the next day and be fine because I just know that no one would have written anything bad because I think my you guys are like quite mature like the audience range is like 30 to 60 i think so it's not like an immature kind of audience so i think that's why but suddenly i've just been getting like really quite weird negative comments like on my flat tour someone wrote it would be it it wasn't said in a very nice way but i probably would be able to voice this in the same way she was like you should be in a family home with a husband being single on your own is not nice to see i mean kick a girl when she's down like <laughs> it would be nice too you know but like I, I it's not like i don't have a boyfriend or anything so what am i meant to do like just imagine like magic these things out of thin air but it was i just have started to get a lot of negative comments and i feel like I was brought up, like I went to an all girls school near Liverpool, so I feel very like, I have developed a very thick skin for these kind of things, like they do not affect me in the slightest, and I'm not just saying that like a tough like person, I generally, it does, people could say whatever, it doesn't affect me, but it's just, I want to talk to you guys, if you guys have YouTube channels or Instagram or put yourself out there, like, you have to remember the type of people that say nasty things aren't nice people like i would hate to think that you're experiencing this too because i know a couple of my blogger friends have really suddenly started to get a lot of negative comments it's like people are, trolls are on form at the moment or something so if it's you you really just need to develop a thick skin because if someone writes something negative or like you can think these things say if you watch someone and you don't agree with it that's fine uh, but there's a really big difference to the type of person that makes someone else feel bad about something or just having that opinion and keeping that to yourself like someone could watch my video and hate it and then never watch it again and unsubscribe and that's fine but it's a really weird type of person that watches my video doesn't like it and then tries to make that person feel really bad about themselves it's pointless it's such a waste of energy so if you guys are experiencing like trolls or anything like that even in school like bullying and stuff just remember negativity comes from a, from an unhappy place so the person doing this isn't a very happy person and like just needs to be taken with a pinch of salt stare them out that's what i do <laughs> i wish i could show you a picture of these two women i sent it to my best friend i was like these two women are bitching about me right in front of me and i was like i think it's my boots but i like my boots <laughs> guys we have a serious serious problem i like living alone it's blissful it's very blissful except one major issue i have a severe I can't control it. I have an abnormal reaction to spiders. I have severe arachnophobia. And I've just seen 
I'll let, I insta it, so I'll see if I can get the spider story. But I have a severe arachnophobia and I've just seen a tarantula and I live alone. <laughs> I can't get the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, it was in the bathroom. I, I knew I should have a spider zoned my flat and I just hadn't got round to it. You know, when like tissue paper, get the conkers out, get the spearmint or whatever meant. <sighs> Look at this. So I need to put something over that because that is definitely where they're coming from. That's the attic. And there's like loads of, there's me live. There's like loads of holes around here. Where the hell has that spider gone? Like there's loads of holes in the bathroom. I don't know why. <laughs> I've got the heebie-jeebies majorly. Every time that I've like, I've always lived with someone that could handle them. This was the one thing that I said when I was like moving into this flat in my hair and I was like, what do I do if there's a spider? Because as much as I hate them, I cannot kill them. Kind of like ex-boyfriends. I hate them, but I don't want to see them dead. Um, <laughs> I just want to remove them. Oh no, I feel like I'm not going to be able to live in this flat the same again. I need an epic polyfiller. Okay, so I just thought I'd jib off cleaning my teeth. I'll be fine, I'll go to bed not cleaning my teeth. Because I kind of partly got way through it. But now I need a wee. <laughs> and the spider was right next to the toilet. Oh, it gives me such heebie-jeebies. I'm that, like bothered that I might actually go and ask the hooligans, the gang on the street corner outside if any of them would come remove spiders. This is not good. This is not a good situation. I've got my mum coming tomorrow and she is gonna de-spiderise the flat. Confirmed, sealed, she's not got a choice. Okay, mid-morning shower and it's back. It's back. I even stuffed tissue down it. It's back, mid shower. Sorry, YouTube, but this needs, this needs swearing. Where have you gone? It's gone, he's disappeared. Nora, not what you want when you're in the shower. I don't know what it is, guys, but I feel very vulnerable in a towel. <laughs> It's always autumn, always autumn that they come out. It's my favorite month because it's fashion month, but oh dear, this is not. Guys, I'm looking for a tall, dark, handsome man that is not afraid of spiders. Good afternoon, I just got changed, got over my spider drama, and I just wanted to show you my outfit because it's something that I picked up from very yesterday. Um, I have made a mess again, so ignore the mess in the background. So this is the dress that I got from Very yesterday. I just chopped a layer off because it came down to here and I thought it was a bit of a weird length. Um, I've got two belts on, not one, not two. Fill in this two belt thing. I don't know, don't know why, but that's the thing that I'm going for. I've got an oversized jacket on and this and then I have some biker boots on as well. Just at Granary Square, you guys have been here before. I'm with Nana. Say hello to you too. <laughs> Again, my nan is and mummy! <laughs> they bought me a spider catcher. <laughs> Lol! All the way from Liverpool. <laughs> this is the food. Apparently, this is a salad. <laughs> Not quite sure. So, just. Oh god, change your plan. So, um, I've actually just got an email asking me for to go to like a black tie dinner tonight. Love a black tie, love an evening gown, so that is what we are going to do. And I have on, I thought I was mid shooting and I'm kind of ready, so it's okay. I've got an hour to get ready. <laughs> I have this pink dress and I've just whizzed to accessorize, and this was all I could find, so this will do. Yeah, I'm about to go to black tie by myself. I would take Jimmy, but he's oh, spider update Jimmy is under a cup in the bathroom. And I don't know how to go forward from this point because there ain't no way in hell I'm moving in from under that cup. So I'm gonna have to like try and bribe someone to come around and um, move him. Okay kids, I am ready. I am off to the ball. This Cinderella is taking herself. 
<laughs> um, I have a house of CV dress on. You know the standard, just got ready. That's a tip. But I wanted to show you my outfit. So we've got... Definitely going to put the mirror in the hallway. From now on, that's where it's going to be. Pink house of CB dress on. Massive slip down. Snakeskin shoes. Little clutch from accessories that I just got. And some beautiful earrings and um, jewellery to go with it. So yeah, off I go to the ball. Guys, so I am at the side of the A transformation, a complete shift in the way that business is conducted and it's affecting every industry in the world. Whether that's in telecoms and media where we're looking at replacing... We got food, guys. good at leaving a party when I should it, it's funny because in my 20s I always would have been like the last one standing all the time and I would have just kept drinking but I feel like when you get to 30 hangovers they last they last like a week um, and sometimes they're like a near-death experience so um, hang yeah so after like one I'm like I'm done I go home early and I get oh back of my earring just fell off um, yeah I get halfway through the night, I'm like, do you know what? I'd love to be in bed right now. <laughs> so that's what I've done. So I don't know if I've explained, I think maybe on Instagram stories that Jimmy is the spider. We established his name was Jimmy, Jimmy mid-shower because he decided to join me. He's huge. I'd, anything smaller than... Oh, it's, it's coming off. Anything smaller than... Oh... Um, oh... Um, no, okay. Anything, any spider smaller than a 2p coin, I can put a glass over it and remove it, shuffle the envelope or what, piece of paper underneath it. Smaller than a 2p coin. Let's may, maybe like smaller than a 1p coin. 2p coin is probably pushing it. Jimmy, I reckon he's about this big. He's a whopper. And he's under, I managed to get him under my toothbrush holder. It was mid-nakedness in the shower that it was the only thing I could grab. But he's been there for two days now underneath this toothbrush holder. You don't know how single you are until there's been a spider in the bathroom underneath a cup for like a week. How long do you reckon we can leave him there for? Damsel in distress and no one to save me. I reckon he'd be there. I reckon he's going to be there for about two weeks until my mum comes. Single life. It's not all good. Um, also, on that note... I bought another rose bush and it died within a day of having it so I've established that I should not buy plants. I actually had a really fun evening, I don't know if I told you but the dress is from House of CB, so good. I literally got an, a text, like an, well, an email an hour before going they were like can you come and I was like no problem I have a load of House of CB dresses so I just chucked, I feel like Barbie, pink Barbie pink. Um, yeah it was for Awin black tie ball which if you guys don't know affiliate window is how a lot of bloggers make money affiliate window reward style it's the click through so it's just like a celebration of that like brand loads of brands were there like loads of media like the tele like loads of publishing people were there so it was like a big ball for everyone so and we were like the blogger table so that was fun i'm very thankful to uh, be invited because love a ball anyway i'm chatting loads my arms going to and now i've got to do some work now and then get up in the morning tomorrow guys on the agenda i double booked myself unfortunately so i had to turn one down tomorrow we're on the king's road with pop pr one of my favorite people in the whole entire world in this fashion industry oh sorry 
reading my uh, DMs from a long way away. Um, actually, I'm going to put a few pictures from tonight because it was really fun. Um, I'll put the picture of here of me and me and Daniel. It was a cute picture. I'm really chat. I got the chats, haven't I? I have the the wine chats. So I'm probably. I'll talk to you about this in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna go, gonna go toast tea bed. Gender. Good morning, I am up, awake. I'm really not raring to go, but we're gonna go. I'm gonna show you my outfit outside because, yeah, my voice is gone today. Feels really sore. I've just got some jewelry on. I had this little number from Sheen, my H&M earrings. I love this pack from H&M. Get loads of hoops in it, really good. Um, and I just have this little, I'll show you outside. I'm just off the Ivy in Chelsea, which isn't too far, so I'm gonna go. Just at the Ivy. <laughs> just in Top Shop at a new nail bar that they have here. It's called Lady House of Lady Mug, isn't it? House of Lady Mug. It's on the low ground floor of Top Shop, and you can come get a mani pedi, and it's so cute. Let me show you around. This is the decor. Balloons, my feet. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a sparkling colour. I really don't like feet, so I feel like if I get a pink sparkly one, all good. Just with Helen Coates, I'm bulking her to the YouTube channel. She's a beauty editor, I'll grab you, right? So if you need any beauty tips, I'll leave her Instagram down below and you can go ask her. What's what, what's new for autumn, beauty wise? Um, <laughs> um, well, red, 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 oh, red lip glasses, red lip, red lip always. Okay, um, red lip guys. Amazing lashes. False, um, false lashes. That's a big one. Well, lashes are in. So lash extensions. Lash extensions. Um, red lip. I feel like highlight is still on point. Oh uh, yeah, there's no romance. Yeah. I just got the Dior one and it's insane. Yeah. Someone the other day shouted down the street that I have a cheek and I was like, my Dior highlight is popping. Amazing. Hannah. 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 I was just about to go to bed and then I realised I'm going to edit this tomorrow and I've not said bye. So I'm going to say bye now. Um, I just bought this from Primark. I just went kitting myself out with pyjamas from Primark. I feel very snuggly right now. The um, nail bar. Peddies, manis, gels, everything on the low ground floor of Topshop. It's called House of Lady Mug. Love that name. Um, it's open from Monday, which will be probably when this goes live. So if you want your nails done near Ox Street, really nice place to go get them done. First time having my pe a pedi done. I have a real phobia of feet. <laughs> so it was really weird. <laughs> I um, have never, never let anyone touch my feet before. I just don't like feet. There's something really weird about it. I don't know if it was because I always used to have my shoe, my feet in point shoes and used to all be sweaty and like, sweaty and bloody. You know, that sounds gross. <laughs> but they were so battered. So I feel like I've just never liked feet because that's what I envision in my head. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to say night night and I will hopefully catch up. Like next week's fashion week and... I'm debating whether to go to Paris or Milan. I still haven't decided yet, but we shall see. Um, possibly going to New York, not for Fashion Week though, at the end of the month. September's always silly busy, um, but I'm trying to zen the hell out because I get really stressed out around this time. <laughs> it's like so full on. Anyway, I had about three hours sleep last night, so I am gonna go to bed and I will love you guys and leave you guys and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye. You might be the one that truly gets